How many tourists are too many? A hundred snorkelers on the water's surface and a whale shark down below. The world's biggest fish comes to the flat coral reef to eat. It's one of the Maldives' main tourist attractions. Every year, a million vacationers come here in search of paradise on and under the water. Coral reefs are among the Earth's most species-rich ecosystems and among the most fragile. What really gets to me is the amount of life that's happening on coral reefs. And uh, everything is there for a specific function. There are the fish that are the doctors, for instance, and then there are the corals that are the architects. And if you remove any of these roles, then you basically have a coral reef that's not functioning very well. And what we need to do as humans to try to sustain and maintain that balance. Marine biologist Amer Abdullah wants to protect the reef. Corals are living animals. They grow extremely slowly, usually just three centimeters a year. It can take thousands of years for a reef to develop. But its destruction is swift. Climate change, sewage, overfishing, and tourists stepping on the coral. The reef's arch enemy is man. Abdullah from the International Union for the Conservation of Nature works together with fishermen, hotels, and the government so that they all profit from the reef and the tourists who come to see it. Abdullah's goal is to unify their interests. Today he's collecting data on a fishing boat. Fish are crucial for the coral's survival. Fish eat the algae, for example. Like most of the reef fish, this one lands on the plate of tourists. Some fishermen warn that stocks are already declining. Taking too much. Here is a resort, there is a resort, all resorts. People take so many fish every day from these reefs and lagoons to supply the needs of every resort. Nature can only help so much. Even so, Ghassim Ali continues to fish. After all, it is his livelihood. A lot of the fishes are predators, so the predators basically are, um, again, as we said, are important for the, the reef because they keep the diversity high. There's absolutely no data collection happening at the resorts. And this is something that we're hoping to change, is to try to understand how many of these fish per species are being caught, and is that sustainable or not. Abdullah passes his data on to the government, so officials can regulate fish quotas and preserve the reef. One country, one problem, but more than 2,000 different islands. How can environmental protection even function here? Abdullah is counting on direct cooperation with hotels and resorts. Hotels working with Abdullah's project want a type of tourism that's beneficial to the reef. The German hotel manager of Reti Beach is a trailblazer. Her team wants to guard and protect the island's reef. A marine biologist from IUCN will help. First of all, of course, we're acting in our own interest. The reef, the island, is a privilege for us, and we naturally have to see that we protect it. The tourists come to dive, but if there's nothing here anymore, then they won't come. Over the next few years, marine biologist Barbara Gratze will monitor the condition of the reef just off the island. And anyone interested can also receive information about the underwater world. 
A coral skeleton might be a nice souvenir for many snorkelers, but like living coral, even dead coral is important for the ecosystem. Probably 20% of tourists, or even fewer, know that corals are animals. Very few know that corals are so fragile and why they need protection. As a long-time diver, I've become more careful in recent years. But every new bit of information increases awareness that as a diver, you have to be more careful with the environment. Where are the unique coral species and where is the reef endangered? Grazza and Abdullah are creating maps and management plans. They hope the project will make the reef less susceptible, even to influences that they themselves can't control. The coral reefs are exactly like human beings in many ways. If uh, they are healthy and they're not stressed by local impacts, then they'll be able to resist the impacts of climate change, the global impacts of climate change. The protection project for the ancient ecosystem is scheduled to last for four years. But if it's successful, its effects will be felt for decades to come. Thank you.